finally filming a budget brushes video. It's been so highly requested. When I did the teen makeup starter kit, I said I didn't really want to include brushes because I hadn't tried a lot that I considered to be um, kind of really super low budget friendly. I have my like Sigma, Sedona Lace, that kind of thing, but when you're outside of the US, the shipping makes it quite expensive. I love those brushes. But I have been trying some different ones and this is going to be hopefully a series uh, I'm going to do kind of one brand at a time because I haven't tried enough right now for me to tell you um, here's a bunch of great brands of brushes to try. Uh, but so many of you said please try the Real Techniques brushes. I actually did have the eye set when it first launched, maybe like two years ago. But if you've been following me for a while, you may remember I did delete a huge amount of videos, like a page worth, I think it was a hundred. Um, and that was one of the videos that I actually lost. So there's a massive gap in my YouTube timeline. Um, if any of you have never wondered about that, that's why I, it, was a, it was a bad day when I deleted all those videos, but that was one of them. Uh, and so I'm remaking that video, I suppose, now, but I've had the brushes for a lot longer. And I've also recently bought the Core Collection, which is the yellowy, orange handled brushes, the gold brushes maybe. Um, so I'm gonna go through all of them with you and give you my kind of honest opinion of what I think of them. Uh, and at the end, I'm going to tell you somewhere that you can buy them for a little bit cheaper. But I did want to talk about brushes first of all that you can actually go and buy. And these are available from Boots. Uh, so if you don't have access to the internet or you don't have means to order online, then you can actually buy these in a shop. Uh, but for those of you that are looking for a bit of a bargain, there is somewhere that you can buy them online that is cheaper. So these are the brushes. I'm going to go through the eye brushes first of all, uh, because I've had them for longer, like I say. I know them better and I've used them a lot. Um, I actually have the eye kit here and then I have one brush that doesn't belong. So I'm going to go through the eye kit. That is these five brushes. I don't have with me, as in like in front of me right now, what they came in. But it's basically something that you can stand them up in or uh, something that you can kind of slot them in and keep them if you're travelling or something like that. It's quite, it's a cool little kind of holder. I never use it, but I might use it if I was travelling. Um, and I'm sure you will know about it anyway because so many people have reviewed these brushes. So I'm just going to talk about the brushes. They came in a really nice little case, but by the by, it's the brushes that we want to talk about. So we have here the brow brush, which I must admit, I used to use this, but I don't use it so much anymore. I think it's a little bit thick for a brow brush for me. I would use this more to kind of contour um, on my eyes, kind of within the crease. It's a little bit much for me for a brow brush. Brow, I can't say that word, brow brush, uh, but it's nice enough. Uh, an accent brush, which is amazing. I love this one, I use it so much. This is really nice if you want to use um, a colour to kind of just smoke a little bit under your eyes. Uh, you can also kind of deepen the crease with this. I love this brush. You could use it for so many things. You could use it for concealer if you wanted to, just to kind of pinpoint the, the breakouts that you have, anything like that. Base shadow brush. You could use this to give kind of a light covering all over your lid if you wanted to, but I use this more for blending. And I could probably choose three of these brushes just to have as my all-time favourite ultimate kit for eyes um, and they are nothing like any other brushes that I have as well that's what I love about the Real Techniques brushes that the actual shape of them is so unique to anything else. Um, the next one I never really knew how to use it. it's called the Deluxe Crease Brush but for me this is nothing like a crease brush this is way too thick to go into my crease my eyes are quite hooded and this is just a bit crazy looking so I ended up using it to buff out concealer under my eyes and so many of you told me that that's actually how Samantha Chapman has used it in her videos and I had no idea so it's just one of those things, it looks like a, a tiny little foundation brush, so I thought, well, maybe for kind of tiny little bits of foundation, and it does work really well for concealer. Uh, and lastly is a brush that I've barely ever used, and it's the Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush. And it's a really thick brush for an eyeliner brush, if you ask me, really strange. Um, lots of people have commented on it, and I think that they've brought out one individual one that's a lot finer than this for eyeliner, but I have no idea what I would use this for, unless I was doing kind of... Um, a liquid line look on my top lash line and I was using like a bright colour and I wanted it to be a bit more bold but I definitely wouldn't use this for eyeliner. Strange addition there but lots of people again have said they could use it for pinpointing little breakouts and things here and there. The other brush that I have for eyes is the shading brush and I absolutely love this thing. It's so short, it's kind of... Um, it's more compact, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more dense is the word I'm looking for. Uh, and so it packs on colour so much better than anything else that I've got. If I've got a really bright colour, um, this works really, really well. And even one that isn't so pigmented, I get a lot more colour packed onto my lid than I do with kind of fluffier brush. So this is one of my all time favourites. And if I had to choose, I would definitely say these three brushes would see me through um, if I had to have only three eye brushes for the rest of my life because I have the base, 
kind of pack on colour shade. I could also do my contour with that if I wanted to. Uh, I could deepen up with that. I could do a bit of an eyeliner with that. And then this can be used as so many different things. This is probably the best multi-purpose makeup brush that I have because it could be a base. You could almost do a crease with it and it also blends out perfectly. So I love these three brushes. They are my all-time favourite eye brushes for sure. Um, now the face brushes I wasn't sure about. I know that people have raved about them and there's a pink range as well. Now tell me if I'm wrong because I don't know. Is this the face line, the face range, and then the pink ones are the cheeks? I'm not sure because they are colour coordinated which I like and again if it's a starter kit that you're looking for I like that they have the purple that are the eyes and then the golden kind of ferrules that are um, for cheeks or for face and then the pink that's for cheeks so you know what it's supposed to be other than the fact that they are all named like buffing brush and um, you have an idea of what the purpose is but I like that it's colour coordinated not that you shouldn't use them for other things as well like I say there's an eye brush that I use for my face for concealer uh, and this I would not likely use it for my face I'd probably use this um, more for eyes I have used it um, kind of again to smoke under my eyes and a little bit more to contour because it's a little fluffier and a little bit longer than my other one but I wasn't sure, so let me know if you know whether this is specifically face and the pink ones are cheeks. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, so this one is the Detailer brush. Mm -hmm. Detail, again, I would use this more for eye stuff, um, but I could see, you know, you could put a little bit of concealer on here with this. Again, looking at blemishes. Um, the buffing brush is fantastic. So many people rave about this brush, and I am not all about putting my foundation on with a brush. I don't love that. Unless it's kind of a, a mineral, in which case this would be amazing for mineral foundation. But I don't like the finish that it gives. And even with this, it's nice, but I would put on my foundation with my hands first and then buff it out and give a little bit of a different finish, but I wouldn't apply it with a brush. So what I found that I use this more for is for finishing powder. Uh, the powder that I love at the moment is the Revlon Nearly Naked because it gives an extra bit of coverage. It's such a finely milled powder. You don't get a powdery, cakey finish at all. I love that stuff. However, it's not amazing for my oily skin. It doesn't control oil as well as I'd like. And so oftentimes I start with a really powdery start, like powdery look. And then within an hour, I'm quite glowy and dewy looking. I'm sure I'm like extremely glowy right now because uh, it's very, very warm and I'm wearing a jumper. Why am I doing that? Uh, but it's a very, very warm day here in the UK today. Um, and so I love this with my powder products, but um, I know that lots of people love it with foundation, so just to bear in mind, but that's what I use it for. The contour brush, I haven't actually used as a contour brush yet. I've just been using this with blush. Um, and I just love the domed, the domed look of it. I don't know, there's something about this. I have another contour brush, which is from MAC, and I got a massive discount on it because I bought it from a CCO, which is a cosmetic company outlet. Um, and I got it from there and it was this hugely discount price and it's okay, you know, it's no better than any other brush that I've used but it, it's a different shape than I had so I picked it up and it's supposed to be for contour but I use it for my cheeks because I just like to kind of rosy them up a little bit, especially when it's summer and it's a bronze and then just put a little bit of pink on my cheeks and this is the perfect shape for that. Um, so I really like it's that and let me know if you've used it as a contour and love it as well but I know just on the whole bloggers rave about Real Techniques brushes so they are pretty amazing. Uh, lastly, I have the pointed foundation brush, and this is, again, something that I, within the kit, it's really strange. I think there's lots of brushes that are meant for one thing, but work a lot better for something else, which is a little bit odd, um, but I actually like this for foundation as well. So, like I said before, with the tiny little domed buffing, what was it called? Contour brush um, for the eyes. I like that for my foundation for my concealer, uh, but I also really like this to kind of like pat it in, dependent on what kind of formula I'm using. If it's a little bit lighter, I like this one because then I can just kind of pat it in rather than using my fingers and I like the finish that it gives. Um, but I really, really love the Real Techniques brushes. They've just brought out a limited edition duo fiber kit that's got all white handles, which I need now. I absolutely love them. Uh, and all my other brushes are basically just getting pushed to the wayside because I've always loved the eye brushes, but now I'm kind of leaning towards the face brushes more than my Sigma as well. And they're so much cheaper, really. You can buy them for so much cheaper. I mean, the, the deal that I found on Amazon was thanks to Fee from Makeup Savvy, who I will link below. Um, and it was a much better deal. The reason I got the core collection in the first place was because she'd found them for like 15 or 16 pounds on Amazon with free shipping, which is considerably cheaper than it is in boots. Um, and I think it's a little bit more expensive than that now, but it's still cheaper than you can buy them in the store. So if you are looking for a discount, I, it's if you buy both sets together, you are looking at quite a saving. Uh, and I'll link my blog post below that has that information there. But 
You can purchase even boots and even at full price, they are a really good deal. I think you could probably get both sets for around £40, which for a full brush kit is a really inexpensive way to buy brushes, if you ask me. Um, but I know that it depends on budget, you know, not everyone's got that kind of money. Um, but these are my first budget brushes that I'm going to review for you. If there's any ones that you'd specifically like me to review, I'm looking at Eco Tools. Uh, there's a lot of brands on eBay that you can buy that aren't necessarily easily found kind of in stores. Elf I'm looking at. I have a lot of Elf brushes, but I want to get more to actually review for you. But again, it's something that you can't actually buy in a store. So if you've got anything that you really, really want to hear about, I know that anyway I've started doing brushes, but again, I haven't seen them in the stores. I'd have to order them online. So any requests at all, let me know. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. I have done another review of the brushes and taken pictures and things uh, for a blog post that I'll link below. And like I say, uh, where you can buy them on Amazon is also in that blog post. It is cheaper. Um, but I did want to review, first of all, ones that you could physically go and find in a store and buy, because I know that's a lot of... A lot of especially teenagers, especially teenagers, especially teenagers, a lot of you do say, no, I, where can I buy this? Specifically in a shop, where can I go and buy this? Uh, so I didn't want to just review something that you could go and buy on eBay or whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.